Yesterday was a really hard day. I had to bury Mrs. Day. She was my girlfriend only for a short while, but it still hurts knowing that someone so young tragically died like that. And even knowing that someone could have murdered her makes it even worse. I had to figure out who was up on the roof with Mrs. Day. I had to find Trish and, 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 and talk to her and see if she remembers anything from that day. And Matt ditching me at the funeral doesn't help. Now it's just a one-man job. I don't have any friends really in this university anymore. God. Oh, oh man. Oh god, it's already 4.30 in the morning? Okay, I have to hurry. I, if I'm gonna intercept Trish, I have to hurry because she's on her way to work in about 20 minutes. Oh wow, it's still dark out, it's so early. Oh, Aviator! What are you doing up so early? You know what day it is, right? Yeah, Jerry, I know it's Saturday, but I have to go meet with Trish. Why? Do you have to meet with Trish this early? Well, I know she works as a waitress on the weekend, so I want to catch her before she gets to work. What do you need to talk to her for? I heard she saw someone on the roof with Mrs. Day the day she fell. Wait, why would someone be on the roof with Miss Day when she jumped? I don't think she really did jump, Jerry. I, I think she was murdered. Oh my god, that is so crazy! You better be careful out there, because if she was murdered, that means her killer is still out there. Don't worry, I will, Jerry. Uh, but I need to get to the bottom of this at any cost. Do you want me to come with you? No, uh, just get some sleep. I'll be back soon. Okay, well, good luck! Okay. So what I have to do is I have to meet Trish before she gets to her job because I don't want to bother her at work. Uh, now, I know she works at that one restaurant on the other side of town, and I know where her dorm room is, so I think I know where I can meet her. But I have to hurry. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what way is it? Oh, man. Uh, I don't know the city very well. I know the campus like the back of my hand, but this city... Oh god, the sun's going up. That means she's definitely on her way to work right now. I have to hurry, I have to hurry, I have to hurry. Come on, Trish, where are you? Uh, I think she'll be somewhere on this road. Um, wait, maybe she's this way. Oh! <laughs> uh, hey, Trish! Aviator! Oh god, you scared the crap out of me. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to startle you, but I, I have something I want to talk to you about. What is it? I, I heard that you were... there when Mrs. Day jumped. I was close. Yes. Did you really see a man on the roof with Mrs. Day? I don't know what I saw. It all happened so fast. Come on, Trish. You can tell me. Okay. Yes, there was someone up on the roof with her. I think. Who? Who was it? I have no idea. Really. Well, what did they look like? It was definitely a guy. He might have been in his 30s, but I'm not sure. Like I said, it all happened so fast. So it was another guy? But in his 30s? Who would that be? Another teacher, maybe? I'm not sure, but there isn't very many 30-year-old students around here, so I would have to say yes. Probably a teacher. Well, I guess that is some type of start. Thanks, Trish. If you can think of anything else, uh, can you give me a call? Yeah, sure. I also wanted to say that I am sorry for your loss. Thanks, uh, for everything. I'll, I'll let you get to work now. Okay, so if... If Trish thinks that another man was on the roof with Mrs. Day, and she thinks he was about 30 years old, that means it has to be another teacher that, that did that to Mrs. Day. Because why would another teacher be on the roof with Mrs. Day if she was about to commit suicide? What, to watch? I don't think so. I think maybe they were both up there talking, and, and then he pushed her off the roof. Maybe in some type of angry fit, or... Or maybe in some type of jealous tantrum. I don't know. This is all too much. Uh, oh, uh, you know what? Maybe I should call Matt. Ah, uh, no, I, I don't. I don't think I should. After what he did to me at the funeral yesterday, I don't think I ever want to talk to him again. Wait, <laughs> my phone's ringing. Ah, oh, speak of the devil, it's Matt. Hey, Matt. Aviator, hey, man. I'm sorry about yesterday. Yeah, whatever, man. I don't know if I can forgive you. That was horrible. Really needed you yesterday. I know, but you know what a frat means to me. Yeah, I guess more than one of your best friends. No, man, it's not like that. I want to help you find Mrs. Day's killer. Sorry, Matt. I, I don't need your help. Come on, please. Goodbye, Matt. <sighs> he makes me so angry. He literally ditched me yesterday so he could become part of Omega Pi. Stupid frat. 
Stupid Terry. Why would he ditch me? I've been his friend since like kindergarten. And he leaves me so he can hang out with some guy he barely knows and some stupid frat that he has no idea what they're about? Now he wants to help me with Mrs. Day? What, does the frat not need him today? And when we're close to a breakthrough, is he gonna leave me to go to some stupid party? Yeah, I don't need Matt. I don't need anyone. I just gotta figure out what happened to Mrs. Day. And I think to start, I'm gonna have to start searching the school. It's a Saturday though, and tomorrow's Sunday, so... I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Maybe I can sneak into it somehow. Oh, Zoe! Hey, I heard about what happened with Mrs. Day. I know you were close with her. Oh yeah, it was pretty horrible, but... I'm just trying to move on. Well, I'm sorry that all happened. So, what have you been up to, Zoe? So much schoolwork, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, university can kind of be overwhelming. Hey, how about we hang out tonight? We can get a break from schoolwork and get our minds off all this craziness. Uh, I don't know. Come on, aviator. Don't be such a wet towel. Oh, a wet towel? Yeah, a stick in the mud? Boring? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine, I guess. Uh, I, I can hang out for a little bit tonight. Great. How about we get some coffee and just catch up? Sounds good. Well, I, I guess I'll meet you at the coffee house. Awesome. See you at like six. Six sounds pretty good to me. See you then, Zoe. Oh, well, I haven't talked to Zoe in forever. To be honest, I kind of forgot she existed. But I guess getting a cup of coffee with her and catching up won't be too bad. My mind needs a little break and a little rest and... Maybe some good conversation over some good coffee with an old friend, uh, will help. I don't know. I feel kind of guilty, though, knowing that Mrs. Day is dead and she was possibly murdered and I'm gonna go get coffee tonight. Something about that just doesn't feel right. Maybe I should call Zoe and, and tell her I can't do it. No, 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 I, I gotta keep my commitments. I have to be true to Zoe, and, and she wants me to come out, so, you know, maybe this will be good for me. Clear my head, and maybe open my eyes. I don't know. I better go back to my dorm, though. It's Saturday, and I'm kind of tired. I should get some rest. Mm -hmm.